Good morning and welcome. Today is Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. The energy for today is affected both by the pink moon. For some of you, it's the egg moon. For some of you, it has different names. This moon appears like it's a lot larger than what it really is, only because it's a lot closer than what it normally is. This moon also has a lot of power behind it. It's putting a lot of uh, different effects on people. It has you to a point where you're not tolerating anything. It has you where you'll dismiss somebody very quickly. <clears throat> it has it where you also will not want to argue. You'll just want to stop something. For some of you, it might be the opposite. You might want to just keep arguing with this moon. But for majority of you, you'll want to walk away from things that are no longer serving you. You'll want to find some distance, some space, some me time. You're going to want to explore things that you haven't explored before. You may just all of a sudden decide to book a trip. You may just decide all of a sudden that you're wanting to do something different in your work area. There's a lot of different energies that go on with this moon. It started pretty much on Sunday to Monday, depending on where you live. And today being Wednesday, it now will start to fade back, so to speak. The energy for today, I've picked an oracle card and it is called Spread Your Wings. <clears throat> Spread your wings. Stop allowing yourself to say, stay so stagnant or stuck. Don't allow yourself the right or the freedom not to fly. It's talking about spreading your wings, meaning sharing the wealth of your love, of your inner peace, of your guidance to someone. It's also talking about spreading your wings is, is relating to being allowed to be who you are. Being allowed to take the time to smell the roses around you. Taking the longer road rather than hurrying, getting from point A to point B. Taking advantage of every single moment that there is in today. No one, and I mean no one, is promised tomorrow. So spread your wings and live each day as if it's your last day. That's the message for the room for today. Now I am going to start off with oracle cards first with a sign of Aries. Aries, your card for today, and I'm going to go rather quickly, is confront. So Aries, with this card about confront, it is time to look in the mirror once again and truly self-reflect. Understand that you are your worst enemy. There are not people out to get you, so to say, or so to speak. It is more about you confronting the things that you don't like in your life or the things that you may not like about yourself. Once you are able to accept and acknowledge your own faults, you, the different things that you want to change about yourself that you haven't, the things that you procrastinated on now will come to the forefront. So Aries, this card is all about you making big changes, you creating your own transformation and allowing the universe to help you. <clears throat> Leo, your card here is seek the truth. Seek the truth that's within you. Seek the truth, not what you want to believe. Not what you're programmed to believe. Not what you were brought up to believe. But seek your own truth. Reach up to your higher power if needed to find out exactly what it is that you haven't been doing for yourself. <clears throat> there is nothing about you, Leo, that you need to desperately change other than maybe some choices and decisions. But the person who you are is a very good person, Leo. So move forward. Follow the right steps and you won't fail. Sagittarius, simply love. It's all about just love. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be a commitment. It doesn't have to be an answer. It doesn't have to be somebody solving the problem for you. All it has to be today is nothing but love. Do everything from your heart. Do it out of the kindness of your heart. And watch how much comes back to you. 
Gemini, new vitality. So Gemini, you're going to try something different. You're going to go in a new direction. You're going to decide to play your own drum. You're going to beat your own drum and you're going to march to your own drum. Which means you're finally believing in yourself. <clears throat> find a hobby. Find something that you like to do. Find a place that you like to go. And make it happen. Libra. Sadness and isolation. Libra, sadness and isolation. Feeling like you're caught off guard. Feeling like there's nothing that you can do about certain situations. Libra, always wanting to create a balance for yourself and for someone else. Sometimes you too get disappointed when you can't help other people achieve their goals. For some of you Libras, the sadness and isolation may be because you have an empty nest. Maybe a lot of your children moved out. Maybe a lot of them are on their own. Maybe you have too much time to yourself. So maybe you're not in a relationship right now, but you're wanting someone to be there. For some of you, Libras, you may have been single for quite a long time. And for some of you, you may have gone back and forth in a situation which still did not benefit you. Nor did it repair the sadness. But the good news is, Libra, you're still ready to reach for the stars. All of this nonsense, all of this um, lollygagging, all of this pettiness will disappear. Things will come back to balance very quickly. So just be patient. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aquarius, clarity of belief is your card. Clarity of belief. This card definitely talks about Aquarius where you're going to see things a lot more clear than what you ever have before. You're finally going to get it. Like that light bulb moment is coming on. That epiphany moment. Something is pretty much going to knock you in the head. And I hope that's not literally. But something's going to knock you in the head and wake you up. As to say, now do you get it? Now do you get it? So you are going to have something shown to you. That is going to prove that your intuition was in fact correct. That is fire signs. That is air signs. We are on water signs now. Cancer. Believe and succeed. Cancer, don't give up. Keep moving forward. Don't lose your faith. I know it's easy to lose your faith when you don't get to see things working behind the scenes. When you don't get to see the instant gratification. When you don't get the results that you're looking for immediately. When you're not seeing proof of your hard work and determination. Please be patient. The universe is asking you to keep your faith. God is asking you to keep your faith. Look forward. Believe. And you will succeed. Pisces. Success and growth. So water signs. You got a lot going on here, water signs. So Pisces. Success and growth. You are definitely climbing up the ladder. Somebody's noticing the work that you're doing. Somebody's appreciating your dedication or loyalty. For some of you, it's about learning, going back to school. Adding to what you already know. Building your knowledge up even more. This is definitely the way to go. And soon you will be reaping the rewards and benefits of all of your success and growth. Scorpio. Challenging times. Things are being placed in front of you that have you kind of looking left and right, left and right. Not sure what to do with what's going on. Not sure how to handle something. Not sure if, of somebody's loyalty or not sure if you can trust the person who you're dealing with. For some of you, it's about being afraid of another letdown. The biggest challenge that you're facing is trying to believe in something that has always disappointed you. Perhaps the most challenging time is going to be you deciding to stay or go. Scorpio, your lifetime is already destined from the day you were born. And so is your partner's. The problem here lies that if you continue to waste a lot of time on something that's not working for you or the other person, or if somebody's not committing or putting in the work the same way as you are, or if their goal is not the same as yours, please move forward. 
please go enjoy and live your life with somebody who wants to live it with you. Please stop waiting and hesitating for somebody else to come around. For some of you, the challenging times may be because the person you want to be with may be with somebody else. Or the person you want to be with isn't quite ready to make that move yet. The person that you want to be with may be undecided on the risks that are involved in being with you. Somehow, some way, there's a risk involved of somebody wanting to be with you, Scorpio. But they may be willing to take that plunge. All depending on what you say, Scorpio, on what you decide to do. <clears throat> Earth signs. Capricorn, it is time to reach out to somebody. Whether it's parents, a family, a friend. It's time to also ask somebody else to help you. It's okay to need a little help, a little guidance, a little reassurance. Capricorn, don't be so stubborn. Don't keep trying to fix it all by yourself. Every level that you get to, somebody is willing to walk with you. Even the levels that you get knocked down off of, somebody's willing to pick you up and walk back up with you. Don't believe that you have to do this all by yourself. Reach out. Somebody's just waiting for you to reach out and they will respond. If there's somebody who you've been wanting to talk to, reach out to them. Even in a friendly manner, reach out to them. Don't quit now, Capricorn. And don't keep trying to do it by yourself. It'll be so much more fun and so much easier if somebody's there to help you. Taurus, you are going to have to lead the way this time, Taurus. You're going to have to show somebody exactly what you want done. You're going to have to instruct them step by step, almost micromanage this person, to tell them how you want to be treated, how you want to be taken care of, how you want to be kissed, how you want to be hugged, whatever it is, you're going to have to tell them carefully so that they can understand what the plans are. For some of you, you may be leading in a new direction where you're wanting to open up your own business. You're wanting to try something again. Maybe with this pandemic, you might have lost something or lost your opportunity. But opportunity is here again. It's knocking now. Things are going to open up. Things are going to grow. Things are going to build. And it is much easier to do so now. Virgo. You can expect a well-deserved reward to come. You can definitely expect a well-deserved reward to come your way. You have put in the time. You have put in the work. Of course, I'm not saying any other signs haven't done that as well. But you in general, your situation... You are going to definitely reap the rewards now. You've worked very hard. You've sacrificed many things. You've given up everything that you own to help somebody else. And karma doesn't always have to be a bitch. Sometimes karma comes around and it counts its blessings with you. Now, water signs. Water signs. Today, your card, in fact, is the sun card. Water signs. So water signs, I'm trying to make this day up. <clears throat> your card is the sun card. So water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is about pleasure, happiness, success, achievements. Having that childlike joy, that innocence, that optimism. So today's energy for water signs is very positive. Your forecast looks very sunny. It looks like things are definitely going to move the clouds out of the way. The pollen is going to be less. For some of you, understand that a lot of you water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, don't believe that you deserve all the happiness that is right here for you. Some of you even feel guilty for being able to enjoy things in your life that others can't. Your hearts are bigger than most. So water signs, enjoy your day today. Air signs. Your card today, air signs, is the five of wands. Oh boy. Air signs. There's competition going on. There's somebody wanting more attention. Somebody's fighting for something or the same thing that you're wanting. There might be conflict or challenges. For some of you, it could be about... 
maybe play fighting, maybe joking around, horsing around, horse play. Maybe you and a partner are going to be horse playing, so be careful. Watch your teeth today. Air signs, watch your teeth today. I also feel like with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, these conflicts that are put in front of you, you're going to find out it's not really worth all this arguing or bickering. You're also going to find out that it's, sometimes it's not your battle to fight. So air signs, you know what? If it's not yours, walk away. If it's your horse playing and joking around, be careful of your teeth. And if this is about family members arguing and fighting over something like an inheritance or something of that nature, don't get involved with the vultures. Fire signs. You have the Knight of Swords today. You have the Knight of Swords, fire signs. With the Knight of Swords, a lot of that talks about something coming in fast. It's also talking about a fearless crusader. This is also quick action toward a goal. So somebody's going to turn something around really quick. Or you're going to get an offer for a job really quick. Or somebody's coming in with a very quick message. There's also something here that talks about you're not afraid anymore. You're not afraid to try. You're actually not going to give up this time. You're going to follow it all the way through, whatever that means for you. Earth signs. Your card today is, in fact, the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords, I don't want you to feel like you're um, caught, trapped. I don't want you to feel powerless over something. I want you to understand you have just as much power as anybody else. You're able to make the choices and decisions that you want. You are self-created. But you're putting yourself into a mental prison. And you've created that mental prison. You've allowed your mind to go on and on and on and create things and illusions that aren't even existing. You believe that everybody's talking about you or believe that everybody's against you. This is not really true. This is you creating this fear within yourself. I want you to be really careful, okay? I want you to be really, really careful. Now, let me get a card for the room, and a card for the room is, in fact, the devil card today. Oh, shit, the devil card. But it's just talking about excessiveness, doing something in excessiveness. A lot of people are overworking out, way straining their muscles and their bodies, putting too much pressure on themselves. Maybe you're overeating due to trying to overcompensate for emotional pain. For some of you, it's about obsessions. Can't get somebody out of your mind. You're convinced that you have to be with this person. You're allowing this obsession to control you and almost make you crazy. You're looking on Instagram, Facebook, dating apps. You're Googling their name. You're doing everything. You're driving past their house. You're asking relatives. You're searching all the relatives on Facebook. You're searching their friends. That's obsession. Be careful. For some of you, this is about addiction. Be careful of the temptation that the devil brings with him. He also will bring chains and bondage. And he will try to keep you there. And if he can't keep you there, he's going to go after one of your family members that tries to save you. So be careful. Because the devil not only will destroy your life, but he'll destroy your whole family with him. And he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He always says, one's too many and a thousand is never enough. He's never satisfied. He can't be satisfied with anything. It is never enough for the devil. That is part of the addiction. So be careful. Don't allow yourself to fall backwards and spiral all the way down out of control into the pits of hell. Because to start over would be very exhausting, depressing. Not to mention nearly impossible. So be careful. Do not allow the devil to tempt you today. Don't allow the devil to talk you into doing something that you truly don't want to do. 
Don't take it just because somebody else is. Don't do it just because somebody else is. Don't think it just because somebody else does. Do not let this devil take control of you or your life. Do not let him own your soul. With that being said, this is the daily for today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you're interested in having your angel card read for you, which is really great, and it comes over like a mini read, it gives you a lot of advice, a lot of courage, a lot of information. And the best part about it, it's not that expensive. It's not as expensive as a mini read. It's not as expensive as a mini, mini read. But follow me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Look for the notification that's going to come out shortly. And let's do a live. Let me show you what the readings are like with the angel cards. These cards can talk about you or they can talk about your partner. Which one do you want to do? Let me know.